Look at this. Got a little more snow. Can't see it on the truck, but look at the car. Ooh, it's bright. So this morning we are going to go try to do a few things. We're gonna check on the chickens and see if uh, any more have been killed. We've got a bobcat, a bobcat problem. So, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go down here and uh, check the trap. I don't think he's gonna be in there. Um, and uh, I've got to get a lot of wood up to the house. Um, bear with me. Yeah, I got, got a lot of wood up into the house, uh, to the house, because we have been burning the wood like crazy. Man, I tell you, these, whoop, it's amazing I caught a mouse in a rat trap. How did you even trigger that? Oh, that's not a mouse. I'm going to show you guys, it's kind of gross. Yeah, I'll drop that, it's my glove. Uh, I caught a vole. Look at that little critter. Poor guy, he's just trying to get him a, a peanut. Yeah, that's a cashew. Yeah, at least he enjoyed his last meal, I hope. Uh, anyhow, yeah, we got squirrels all in here and they're tearing into our trash. Squirrels, unless you're a flying squirrel, you're on my hit list. Anyhow, um, so yeah, uh, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get to work here and um, gotta get wood for the house. Like I said, really, really been cold. Um, and uh, gosh, we have been going through the wood. Uh, we've been getting some really pretty low negative temps. Uh, negative teens, uh, negative 22 the other night. It's negative 39 a few weeks ago. I think I may have mentioned that previously. And uh, well, we're just going through the wood. I'm trying to keep the basement level where I sleep. Uh, our, our bedroom is down there. It's really nice. Uh, anyhow, um, so that's where the, the wood stove is. <clears throat> so trying to keep it warm all the time so we can keep these pipes warm. Uh, so we had one freeze the other day when we had an unexpected dip. Yeah. Weather forecasters, I still say it's a, the they're, they're charlatan, it's a racket. <laughs> because I'll go to sleep every night, I look at my app, and it says, the other night it was it said three to four degrees. Three or four degrees. Now I know in Tennessee or somewhere down south, that's pipe dripping weather. Yeah, we're gonna run that water. Not up here. Uh, the house is so well insulated. Um, that's never an issue until you start getting down into those low negative teens. Or, as it turned out, negative 22. So, forecaster, you guys need to be fired. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go down and check out the chickens. Look at that fresh powder. Take that and move it. Oh, let's see here. Gotta open the door. Oh, okay. It's... Hey, girls. Woohoo! Hello. No, y'all can't go out the other way. Mr. Bobcat keeps wanting to come over and play. We can have that. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I know. I know. I feel the same way. It's a uh, hard knock. Yeah, let's come out here. All right, kids. Oh no. Sorry. I'm gonna die. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I left the water. Pretty sure it did. Yeah, what a jackass. Yeah, okay, let's get you guys some scratch. Ooh.
Come on. Here we go. Let me get you guys some more. Sorry. It's raining. It's raining, Kern. Hallelujah. See? I'm feeling better. Not that I've ever been quite right, but I'm definitely not quite right. Alright. Give you guys a little more. Don't gripe at me, don't gripe at me. I'm gonna have to bump up the egg tax. You guys are eating us out of house and home and you're not producing enough eggs. I mean, you're producing enough for us to eat, but you're not producing, come on. I mean, six or seven eggs a day. How many gals are you? 16, 17 of you? Come on. You gotta bump up your egg production. We're gonna have to cut out the scratch. We know you love your scratch. All that corn. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we got a couple of eggs. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Oh, uh, okay, we got one. That's gross. There's a turd attached to it. Gr come on, girls. You're not supposed to do that. There's another. Yeah. I want no busted eggs now. All right, so we got three in here. Well, um, there's bear with me Ugh. there's one beside the door all right so got several eggs I gotta get them some water I think I may have left it at the house so I cannot do more than two things at a time more than one thing at a time I always say that and even though I say it wrong it doesn't make any less true okay all right be right back hang tight Yep, I left the water. You like that? Ah, yeah. Okay. There's a, oh boy, we are going through it. I had five cords out here. Now I got You hear all that? Oh god. <laughs> Old man noises. Yeah. Deliver the message that even though I went back in to get the water, I still forgot the water. I grabbed the water. Somehow it's not trapped. to try making a lure. 
saw a uh, dude made a uh, <clears throat> bobcat lure. He said apparently that uh, their eyesight is great at a distance. Uh, it's not clear. It's whatever. <laughs> These will attract them. They, they, they like to see things that move, and this is shiny, so it'll catch the sun. He said even on a, a you know, the moonlight. Oops. That's some weak-ass line. Uh, even on um, uh, moonlit nights, that uh, this will work pretty well. So uh, Funny story. After the critters would pick them clean, we would hang them in the woods with a bunch of little stick voodoo looking dolls that Lisa made. We'd hang them up there, the, the bones, the rib cages, the little twiggy things, like I said, look like Blair Witch Project stuff, uh, in hopes that it would deter. Ouch, hold on. Oh, it's something trying to stick you. Anyhow, where's the lawyers? Uh, yeah, so in hopes that no one would buy the land beside us. Well, some folks came along and bought the land anyway, so I guess they just didn't see it. <laughs> but I gotta say, it was a it was a worthy try. So anyhow. Yeah, there's my camera. I think I'm going to leave it here and just see. Oh man, I hope it's not dead because <laughs> I don't have any batteries. If it's dead, I'll take it back with me. If it's not, we'll leave it. I just had to cue you up again. Look at this. I know I say it a lot, but gosh. Man, I challenge anybody. Aside from those who might live in northern Siberia, is that not just gorgeous? Gosh. What a beautiful thing. Got these two nice large hemlocks there, just of course beautiful trees. Uh, and they get monstrous. Those are pretty nice size. Probably about two and a half feet feet at the base, give or take. And look at that big old birch, and it's probably got you blinded. Yeah, that's actually a even bigger birch. Another load. <clears throat> Watch for the excitement. Well, I stacked it, bugger up. Yeah, get this sucker ready. Watch how fast I can do this. Ta-da.